Hi everyone, my name is Megan Stackhouse and I'm a forecaster at the National Weather Service office here in Grand Junction, Colorado. And today we're going to be talking about the November 2018 climate summary for eastern Utah and western Colorado. So let's jump right in. So the first couple days of the month we did have an early season storm moving to the area and this produced generally four to eight inches of snow for the northern and central Colorado mountains. And our coworker is currently making a face in the door. Um, anyways, so on Vail Pass, you can see we had some pretty slick roads, some icy conditions in places. So this is a pretty good early season snowstorm for the mountains. Uh, Thanksgiving weekend, we had an even bigger storm move through the area. These are, this is a picture of McClure Pass on November 22nd and Rabbit Ears Pass on November 24th. So this storm produced quite a bit more snow for the region. We had generally 6 to 12 inches, but storm toll snowfall over the course of the weekend itself was exceeding 3, inch, uh, sorry, three feet at the Tower Snow Tell site. So a really good storm for Thanksgiving weekend. Unfortunately, Vail Pass was closed for about an hour due to some uh, slick conditions. So definitely a headache for those Thanksgiving travelers. So during the month of November, we did have some outreach with our partners. We had our Skywarn Recognition Day occurring at the end of the month. So these are all our Skywarn observers. They're the ones that call on the ham radios and they just make contact with each other across the whole um, country. And then this is our avalanche meeting that we got together with um, some of our avalanche partners and emergency managers and stuff like that. And our very own Jimmy Fowler presenting about El Nino and Enzo. Uh, the precipitation for the month of November as a whole. So unfortunately, even though we did have a lot of snow, it really just stuck in the mountains. So most of our climate sites at these airports ended the month below normal. Grand Junction got 0.19 inches of precipitation. Uh, the biggest deficit though, that occurred at the Durango airport, which only saw 0.04 inches of precipitation, which was 1.64 inches below normal. Looking at temperatures across the region, so we did finally hit the zero degree mark for uh, both the Aspen, Craig, and Meeker airports on November 26th. And Grand Junction, the warmest temperature was 58 degrees on uh, November 2nd. And the warmest temperature overall for the area was Canyonlands Airport in Moab, which saw 64 degrees on November 2nd. Looking at the latest day of the drought, so the drought monitor, currently we can still have that um, exceptional to extreme drought persisting in the Four Corners area. Um, and the drought outlook for uh, December, we are looking at the drought persisting, unfortunately, across the region. But we have already seen some improvement. Um, some of the exceptional drought has been trimmed back in west central Colorado as well as southeast Utah. So we're getting there. <laughs> And looking at the uh, snowpack, so this is just a graphic showing what the snowpack was on May 1st, 2018. So you can see back at um, the end of April, we did have all of our basins were well below normal, especially down in southwest Colorado and southeast Utah. And then comparing it to what we have as of December 1st, you can see a big improvement. Um, you can see all of our basins, especially in um, northern Colorado and central Colorado, above normal. And unfortunately, down in the San Juans, we are still looking at about 70% of normal, but definitely an improvement from the 13% uh, that we had back in uh, at the end of April. So, And eastern Utah is about 70%, but way up in northeast Utah, 101% um, of normal. So we're getting there. <laughs> Fingers crossed it just keeps going. And finally, looking at the climate outlook for December 2018 from the Climate Prediction Center. So we are looking at um, odds favoring below normal temperatures, especially over in eastern Utah, and above normal precipitation for um, much of southwestern Colorado and southeast Utah. And that wraps up our uh, November 2018 climate summary for eastern Utah and western Colorado. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.